The reason 141 pounds is the toughest weight class in the Big Ten is based on three criteria. Big Ten champs, All-American pedigree, and insanely close matchups. If you want the details, then let's stop stalling and start talking wrestling. What's going on, wrestling fans? My name's Josiah, and welcome to Fanco Wrestling, your source for college wrestling news and discussion. And let's look at the field at 141 pounds, because that field is just insanely loaded. First of all, Nick Lee, the returning national champion at the weight, is coming back for another year. On top of that, Jaden Ironman, the national finalist last year, is back at the weight again. And then you have Sebastian Rivera at 141 pounds, now confirmed. Stefan Micic, who's bumping up, just made the announcement from 133 pounds to 141 pounds. On top of that, you add Chad Red, Dylan Duncan, and even Jordan Cater of Ohio State, who's bumping up from 133 to 141. And you have a loaded weight class. I mean, better than any weight class in the Big Ten. And I'll tell you why based on the three criteria in a second. But wow, and this is just the Big Ten at 141 pounds. So like, is any weight class even close in the Big Ten? No, I, I they aren't. They, they aren't. So, okay, what about 174 pounds with Carter Sirachi and Michael Kemmer? You also have Mikey Labriola. Yeah, that's, an, that's a tough weight class at 174 or 184 pounds. With Miles Amin dropping down from 197, does that make that even tougher going up against the national champion Aaron Brooks? Yes, it does. Or I know you heavyweight fans, you always get on me because, well, Gable Stevenson's an Olympic champ, so that just makes the weight class the toughest one automatically. And then you add in Anthony Cassiope and Greg Kirkfleet and Mason Paris, who've all won world championships at different levels. It's obviously tough. Yeah, okay, well, that's in freestyle. This is college wrestling. I'm basing this on college wrestling results, not international success in a different style of wrestling. So the three criteria that make 141 pounds the toughest is All-American pedigree, Big Ten champs, and insanely close matchups. So let's take a look at this All-American pedigree and exactly what that means. So you may be asking yourself at one at 141, like, how many medals does the weight class have? And I'll give you that answer in a second, but let's compare it to the other weight classes because you got to look at the other weight classes and, and what that actually means uh, comparatively. So 174 pounds and heavyweight each have eight All-American placements. And this is including guys who have placed multiple times, but they've earned eight All-American medals. On top of that, you have 184 pounds, which is not the other weight class I just mentioned. They have seven All-American medals. So how many does 141 pounds have? Double that. More than double that. 17 All-American medals between the top guys at 141 pounds. Yeah, it's not even close to those other weight classes. Can you believe that? I mean, let's look at some of these finishes here. So, Nick Lee has placed three times. Fifth, fifth, and first. Jaden Ironman. I mean, he's went 5-4-3-2. Is this the year that he gets it done at number one? But he's a four-time All-American. Sebastian Rivera and Stefan Meech is, of course, All-American. A couple of those at different weight classes. And then you had Chad Red and Dylan Duncan. And on top of that, with those guys, you have three national finalists. And you also have multiple, five multiple-time All-Americans. Yeah, that that is a tough, tough weight class. So, what about the Big Ten Championships? That's the second criteria here for what's making this such a tough weight. And there are three Big Ten champs at the weight class. Okay? Now, Jaden Ironman won the weight class last year at 141 pounds. Ironman beat Nick Lee in the Big Ten Finals. He's previously, actually, which is kind of cool, when he was wrestling at Mizzou, he was a three-time MAC champ. So, now he's a four-time conference champ, and this year he's going for his fifth conference championship. Now, on, also in the weight class, you have Sebastian Rivera, who's won two Big Ten titles, different weights in 2019, 2020. Remember, he beat Spencer Lee when that crazy hands of the face rule was so annoying. And then oh, Rome Braviangi beat in 2020. And then Stefan Michis was also a 2019 Big Ten champ. So you have multiple Big Ten champions at the weight. So again, let's compare this to the other weight classes. Every other weight class, every other weight class has one Big Ten champion in it. Every other weight has one Big Ten champ. 157 pounds, okay, you have Ryan Deacon, who's a multiple-time champ, at, at Big Ten champ. Or 165, you have Alex Marinelli, who's a three-time Big Ten champ. But they're the only guys who have ever won the Big Tens at their weight. Whereas 141 pounds has three guys who's won the Big Ten. Okay, and on top of that, 
And an interesting fact before we get into the just crazy close matchups is the fact that anytime a guy's won the Big Ten Championship, he's actually never won a national title. So Sebastian Rivera won Big Tens, never a national title. Jaden Ironman, Big Tens, not national title that year. Safan Michic, same story. So you're asking yourself, has Nick Lee never won a Big Ten title? No, Nick Lee has never won a Big Ten title. He was in the finals last year, but never won that. So let's look at these insanely close matchups. Nick Lee, right off the bat, win, I mean, in the wins, losses, which I'll show you in a second uh, with this rankings chart, which just kind of blew my mind. Nick Lee has wins over the top six guys in the field excluding one, and that's Stefan Micic, and that's, of course, kind of with that caveat because Micic is bumping up to 141, so he hasn't had the chance to wrestle him. He was 13-1 and last season, Nick Lee was. His lone loss coming to Jaden Ironman, and yeah, Jaden Ironman, the win-loss, I mean, that just shows how close those two guys are because each of those matches was within a takedown. You remember the Big Ten Championships last year when Ironman was hitting some crazy moves, get hitting takedowns on Nick Lee. Of course, he adjusted and won that match. Nick Lee won that in the sudden victory. But I also want to throw this in, into the field because it, it, although it's not related to this conference, the Big Ten, Jaden Ironman is the only one of these guys to have a win over Yanni Giacomahalas. And Yanni has the longest winning streak in the NCAA right now. And his last loss was to Jaden Ironman. So just an impressive fact about Jaden Ironman showing that he can get the job done. A couple of these other guys, like look at their head to head. Stefan Micic, like I want to address, yeah, he doesn't have that, all the wins across this field because he's bumping up for the first time. He does have a win over Sebastian Rivera whenever they had a super match a couple of years ago when Rivera was at 125 and he bumped up to wrestle Micic at 133. He lost, Rivera lost, 10-4. to Meaches also does have a win over Dylan Duncan at 133 pounds. So he actually does have wins over guys in the field. Sebastian Rivera, I mean, oh my goodness, how close he's had a couple of these guys. Like, his match, his two matches last year to Nick Lee, I mean, he was close to he was close to beating him for, for a little bit at the national championships until tides turn a little bit. He was also a close match at the Big Ten championships. Now, out of these guys, out of the guys of the field, Rivera's actually never wrestled Jaden Ironman. So, what could happen this year? And then you add in Chad Red, who had a close loss to Rivera, and even Nick Lee. I mean, close matches within a takedown. Just showing you, even though Chad Red is in that, like, number five spot in the Big Ten, he's still, like, a takedown away from winning that Big Ten championship. And Dylan Duncan, he actually has a win over Chad Red. So let's look at this win-loss ranking chart. So I mentioned Dylan Duncan has a win over Chad Red. Chad Red, his best, well, he has a win, he has win, great wins, but his close losses are just that far away. They're so darn close to Rivera and Nick Lee. Sebastian Rivera has a sudden victory loss to Nick Lee, showing that he's just right there with the national champion. Then you add in Jaden Ironman, a 6-5 to five win over Nick Lee. And Nick Lee, a 4-2 to two win. That's his best win in the national finals over Jaden Ironman. So what does this all show? That 141 pounds is ridiculous this year. And what's my prediction for the weight? I think we have to kind of go with history and say that whoever wins the Big Ten probably won't win a national title. You could have a different Big Ten champ and national champ at 141 pounds. And that will just be wild going into nationals.